What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass, and y'all tuning in the Ends Podcast. Today, we're going to kick it off a little different, man. We're going to hit it straight on the nose. We're going to go straight into business, man. We're talking dollars because it got to make sense. Um, a lot of people, when they first start on their hustle, when they start on their entrepreneurship, they start out operating in what the um, the the legal term or uh, uh, terminology would be a sole proprietorship, which is when you take on or assume all the liabilities and risks of operating as a business, which means that you're using all your personal business accounts and line of credit and and if you was to get sued or anything like that, they would be suing you personally. Uh, anything that happens, you take the blame and all the risks, and, but you're making all the initial investment too at the same time. Now, there's nothing wrong with this. This is, as we said, this is a, this is a form of a business structure, but this is a sole proprietorship. Now, for a lot of us, um, a lot of y'all, y'all been operating like that for a long time and y'all got kind of used to it. But now it's time to take that next step. That next step is operating as a LLC. And the reason why I say that is because there's benefits to operating as an LLC. You're not fully, you know, like just fully exonerated from, you know, from like the, the legal system or just from rules and regulations, period. But to a certain extent, you, you have an advantage as a business owner and just operating as a business. Um, to take that next leap uh, financially and just etching your way into the market. And the reason why I say that is because once you become an LLC, now you are legally recognized, uh, like your name, uh, your company name or brand is now legally recognized as an operating business within a certain jurisdiction. And which that means is, so say like um, us, for example, in media, um, we are legally recognized because we're in media LLC. We are legally recognized as an actual company um, and brand. So then that way, if we were to get sued for anything, um, we get sued as a company. And me, Bass, personally, I won't get sued unless I, it's, it's my own negligence or, you know, a personal, you know, wrongdoing. And what I mean by that is if you were to come into the office and I threw coffee on you, that was me assaulting you. That's a personal matter. But if it's just more so like you didn't like an article that was published um, by Ends Media or something like that, then you you wouldn't personally be coming after me. You personally, be, I mean, you would you would just be coming after the company per se. And um, but that's just in the legal matter. But but more in the financial standpoint, you would be able to open up your own business account. Create your own EIN, which is basically like a business social security account, <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then you can be able to uh, to build your own credit history, your own credit score for your business. And since you are a business, uh, just like has they have credit builder uh, credit cards and things of that nature for personal, they also have that for business. Um, so you're able to build a line of credit, and you end up and you're able to build a credit history for this business that you have just now opened so that you can purchase equipment and things of that nature. <clears throat> then also, too, you're able to, like, file taxes. Uh, taxes are... You can file taxes in multiple different ways um, depending on what how the LLC is formed, if it's formed with the partnership. But with, the LLC, but with doing that, you're able to do things of that nature. You're able to create agreements and form partnerships legally. Um, so yeah, those are a few things that, that basically are you know beneficial when it comes to forming an LLC and operating as an LLC. A lot of times you do need those type of business protections and those type of business advantages because you as a person starting out, um, you may have to also co-sign for a few things and if your credit history, your credit score is bad, it may be a little harder. But there's, like I said, there's ways of building that up and there's business programs that help give you those grants and those loans if you fulfill those programs because you are a legal operating business. But that's the thing, you have to be a legal operating, I mean, not a legal, but you know, a LLC, a LLC operating business. 
and they will help provide that assistance for you. So there are advantages for being an LLC. And there are programs and assistance that's out there, but you have to seek those to find. Um, but then just, just going back into that, um, that protection is also needed for your assets too. Uh, so that way, whatever personal doings that you may have going on, like have you seen with 50 Cent, he filed, um, I want to say Title 11 um, bankruptcy, where he personally just went bankrupt. But a lot of his, uh, he was saying that a lot of his assets were, or like uh, fame or what well, just fortune were coming from his actual business. All those were assets of his business. But I'm not, I'm just saying that to say like in a certain way of um, like, you know, uh, certain things you can just learn to separate and keep those things business. Like your phone, phones and things of that nature you use for business, those things, that's business. You know, um, but anything to you personally, you know, you keep that on the personal side. I ain't gonna tell you what to do with your money and things like that because I am not a financial advisor. You know, I repeat, I am not a financial advisor. I will disclose that. I'm not telling you what to do with your money, anything like that. I'm just voicing my opinion. Um, and after that, <laughs> I, I, I leave that to a small approach. I'll stop right there. But it's just long story short, it's also just just thinking about progression. You know, don't ever be content with where you at. Always think, what is the next level? How do I take this and how do I grow this even more? So now you started out in the ground as a sole papyrus. Now it's time to grow into an LLC. And then that is how corporations are made. But this is your boy Baz. And I appreciate y'all for tuning in to another episode on Ian's podcast. And if y'all enjoy the content that we put out and y'all want to keep helping us being the voice of the community, being the voice of the culture, y'all can show y'all support for free by liking and sharing this podcast and subscribing to it. Then y'all can also show support by also, you know, repping the brand, man, you know, making a statement when you step out them doors, when you're walking into the city by purchasing some of our merchandise um, and, you know, just supporting our stuff. And if y'all want to work with us and have y'all brand or y'all company get noticed or, you know, be presented on this podcast, y'all can also hit that link and sponsor one of these episodes and have your brand, brand uh, you know, business or service placed on this uh, podcast next episode. Then also, if you got a question, it's that link down in that description to also let us know. And then we'll feature your question on the next podcast. We'll probably use your question as our subject or our topic, and we'll supply you with our own personal answer. But it's your boy, Baz, and I'm tuning out. I appreciate y'all. We the family. We out of here.